My name is Imaginer Cantero, and today is February the 20th, 2015. What is your name, young lady? Paige. And can you please tell me if you approve that we record this conversation for purposes of promoting this technology to let the world know that we can become multilingual now? Yes, indeed. Can you please give me your reaction to the experiments that I demonstrated to you so far on how this technology works, and what is your opinion about how this technology should be implemented in schools? Okay, so school-wise, I say that each year we get foreign exchange students who really have a, a troubled time figuring out which words is silent and how our, and our language is represented. There's different words that got the same meaning. There's different words that have a low A, a high A. Um, it's different words that's silent. It's different words that most people don't even know how to pronounce and it's having a hard time to actually grasp the language of English English once they come to the country so in the school I think that you should write this out to people and have a study group and break down the break like have a study group and break down something to basically have them get the fundamentals of the basics once they grasp that in their head then they'll finally go out and reach to really learn English, they can even do it on their own because it's pretty much self-explanatory. So how, 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 do you, uh, how do you feel for the first time in your life being with me in this um, driving situation in which I introduce you to these concepts in less than three minutes? How do you react to that? It's crazy. Okay, tell me why, why? It's crazy because think about it. We have kids that's four years old that know how to work an iPhone. They might not know what they're actually saying on the iPhone, the words representatively, but they know how to grasp it and go to certain things, download games. They know what is what, but they don't know how to read what is what.